Well, hello everybody, Monty here, back playing some more Transport Fever 2. Monty Island is where we're at. This is the free game mode. And I've got a few things I've got going on this episode. Part 2 is where we're at. We hit 1900s. Remember last episode we did the full 50 year kind of rush forward. Uh, we're going to be talking emissions today, as you can see on the background camera. We're going to be in Pittsburgh bringing in machines. So that means we got to make steel, planks, all kinds of good industries this episode. Also, we can't forget about Carrolltown. Carrolltown, we had a new train line coming in from St. Petersburg, I do believe. And we're going to extend that out today to um, not one, but two new cities with passenger line. We're going to be bringing uh, a train, as you can see in the distance, going over to Portland, with already has new bus systems. And, and we're getting a little sneak peek of all three trains coming on into Carrollton, because we also have a new train going up north, uh, I, I believe north is the direction we're going to go with, to High Point, which is one of the uh, the new Russian locomotives, uh, the one on the far track pulling on in. Uh, so we're going to have that heading on out uh, to High Point. So new lines, new industries, transport fever to everybody. Let's, uh, let's jump right in and make this happen. Glad to have you guys along. This is, this is what we have going on. Where are we here? St. Petersburg. The home of the Petersburg Trolley. And, uh, oh, that's not who's here. This is our St. Petersburg bread, which is not bringing, uh, anything home at the moment. Which must mean that it is heading back to go pick up more. I'm getting all turned around. There we go. Yeah, it's going that way. Picking up the bread. Coming on back to St. Petersburg. Oh, my goodness. Now... Yeah, you know what? Let's build a train, because I want to get a train going up to Portland. Do I have a new line? By the way, check out... Look at this. I am so proud of myself. Everything has a name and a reason. Ah, and now I'm going to break it. If I go new line, we're going to go passenger from Carrollton all the way up to Portland, which already has bus lines are running, because I like to think ahead. There we have it. We're going to already rename it. It's going to be PDX to Carrollton, or car. The PDX car. It's going to be going quite nice right up here. We have a line going this way. Mm -hmm. I do want to connect it over here, though. I think these things are important to do. Oh, my goodness, that's going to be fantastic. Uh, but I do apologize about just now hitting episode two because I've been caught up in the campaign. I've really been loving it almost through chapter one. As soon as I'm done with this episode, uh, I'm going to go back and record another one, because that's how ready I am. Uh, by the way, we're going to go with something something a little bit special. Maybe I'll leave it to you guys. I was going to tell the story, but we're going to go with a gondola, which is a model for uh, the locomotive that was driven by Casey Jones on the night of his fatal crash on April 30th, 1900. I was hoping to actually build this on that date, um, but just too much time went by. I didn't have the money, but look at that, $2 million. Right there, right then, right how. Uh, and how fast does that guy go? 100? Top speed, so no, no, no. Yes. Yes. What do we want? What do we want? What do we want? What do we want to say? Let's go with a little mixture, eh? One, two, man, three, four. I don't have the money for this. Wow. How about that? Capacity 48 looks like a little baby train, but I have the money for it, so let's buy it. And let's put that guy on our brand new PDX car line. Oh my goodness, that's a lot of cash. Then we're gonna watch it. We're gonna let this cash come in, and then we're gonna head up north. Northeast, even. We're gonna head towards Pittsburgh. Oops, let me get a, a follow on this guy. Oh, gondola, you're looking mighty fine. New cars. Got a Rogers symbol on there. No, there we go. Nice close up look for a little bit. Then we're gonna head up northeast to Pittsburgh. Where we're gonna be talking about our steel, which is what I left off with. Remember, I said by 1900 I want to be getting steel rolling. It's all trucks, and we can't even see these cars with this uh, steam. But once we get moving, uh, it's gonna clean up. 
That mountain really is impressive. I'm glad we went full out hills. I was expecting more hillage, to be fair. Um, but uh, these things are what they are. So we're going to turn around. We flip around this way, go along the bay. This is a brand new line, so we are going to follow it, do a little bit of a ride along to get started, because building lines and stuff is fine and fun. But, uh, like I said, I like to do it a little bit different on this channel. Close up and personal. Mm -hmm. That's how we roll. Down the track. Squeaks. There we go. Now we can see the cars. It looks like such a little train, but you know what? It's going to do its job. Probably not make us any money, but we're not in it for the money for moving these passengers to get started. That's not how I roll. Uh, I just have a plan to connect the map in a certain way, have passengers roll, and I'm hoping to get a beautiful view of the, uh, the beach here. Let it roll, Monty. Just let it roll. But yeah, Pittsburgh. Steel. Makes sense, right? The Pittsburgh Steelers? I mean, come on now. Come on now. If you're into the NFL or not, you know. Well, I guess you wouldn't, but American football, Pittsburgh Steelers, they're a team. They're not doing really well at all this year, so uh, sorry about that, guys. Sorry about that, Steeler fans, but I have your back. This episode of Transport Fever 2, Part 2, we're showing that the uh, Pittsburgh is no joke as far as the Steelers bringing in that steel. The nice thing is, is we might be able to bring in steel, which we're actually turning it, not just steel, it's bringing in machines. So, like, double trouble over there. We're going to maybe be able to bring machines down this line in the future. Now, this pass, and uh, again, sorry I have a pre-built track. We're going to be building plenty of track live. Don't you worry. Uh, because that's important, right? Gameplay. You guys want to see how the tracks get built. It is still very transport fever. Played any of that. Just optimized. Smoothing is still expensive as it should be, as it will be, as we continue to hide our train in steam. As soon as I say that, it backs off. But it's got to back off for these turns here. I'm really hoping for. Oh, look at that! We have a wild hog. No, it's a bear. Oh my goodness, there's wild animals. And is that a fox? We have a fox and a bear. Oh my goodness. Look at the bank and the track here. That looks fantastic. All right, Monty's getting a little bit excited about banks and travels and bears and such. This is a beautiful ride. Sorry, I'm shaking the camera all over. This, I'm excited about this crossover. All right, a little bit of a jump up on the road there. But it's almost like we're driving down the road to get over that hump crossover again. Oh, that's pretty fantastic. This was a hard pass to build through. And uh, again, I do want to show some of that on camera. I like that little drop-off there. Maybe a little auto-save. And then I thought about going down into Portland, Maine town. But what I'm going to do is build the station up on the uh, eastern side, I guess we could call this. I'm not really sure. And, uh, oh, this hill's a little killer. And get going that way. But, yep, that's our first ride-along of the episode. Thanks for that, everybody. Train 1, you're doing great. You need a name. Let's get some smoothing in now that we have some cash. And while we did that ride-along, we made almost a million cash. Actually, probably not because, uh, yeah, we needed more than that. Portland PDX to car. We already have 14 people waiting. That's good news. I'm going with a square build. Lots of squares. I already have a bus route going around in a nice square formation. Kind of. Not as square as I would like. I might have to put in some uh, some waypoints and such. But these things are what they are. All right, let me remove the money. Then we're going to head up this way to Pittsburgh. Look at that. You can see all the trucks are rolling. So how it starts as it should Oh my, look at the beautiful new coal mine. We're already shipping 400 to 400, so now it's all about transportation to see if we can get an upgrade. But again, I don't know if we can get upgrades on these raw materials. I'm thinking that that's why 
if you look at the industries here, like the raw materials, you have a lot more of, right? And then as we get down into it, I can't believe we only have two stone quarries, by the way. That's, that's killing us. Crude is quite good. But see, then on these factories, we have less, like steel, uh, planks, plastic, oil, construction materials, machines, fuel, tools, food, and goods. So today, we're making machines out of Pittsburgh Machine Factory. So to make machines, we need coal, because for machines, we need steel. And here is our beautiful steel mill. Look at this thing. Pittsburgh Steelers doing well. Production's at 50 out of 200 shipping, and we've almost transported everything. And uh, we'll look at the lines. Here's our uh, brand new vehicle here. Look at this guy. Oh, look at that. We've gone steam in our trucks. We're not pulling uh, anything by carriage. No horses, no more. So that's pretty nice. We've gotten upgrades on all the vehicles. So we have uh, coal coming on down, and it does a little flip back. Respectively, we have iron ore coming in right from here. Nowhere far. Iron ore comes right down this way, and it drops it off here, and it flips it on back. So as you can see, this guy's all empty. Empty. Full. I like that. He just puts the little crate on the platform, and he's going to just drop it off here. Bada boom. And it gets just automatically delivered to that steel mill. Good times. So steel's a going. All right, all right. So coal, iron, steel. Now, other side of Pittsburgh. This is why I'm loving Pittsburgh. Oh, Pittsburgh, you're fantastic. We're going to do great things, I have a feeling. Uh, raw wood from this Pittsburgh forest, which I'll detail a little bit. Let's see if it sounds horrible like before. Can I do a bundle of trees? Hmm. Oh, and I can do one at a time. Hey, you have a tree. You have a tree. You have a tree. Uh, miscellaneous and a bench. Oh, my goodness. I just put a bench out in the middle of nowhere. That's how I roll. Just need a bin. All right. Wood going to the sawmill, which fantastically is just down the street. So, again, just using uh, these little trains. Look at this guy. To each his own. It's got the raw logs on the back. That's fantastic. Moscow F. New tram available. The St. Petersburg trams are going to have to go soon, sadly enough, because it is 1908 already. So we have planks being made. And then look at this on the beautiful waterfront. Oh, man, that water just looks like it goes on forever. Looks great. But look at this guy. Planks. Here's our beautiful plank look. Oh, yes, with your top hat looking mighty fine, sir. Good job. I don't know how you're keeping so clean and dapper. But he just goes down this little tiny road. Little tiny road. So, yes, here we have it. The machine factory. Because I'm bringing that steel right down this road. I'm bringing these planks right down this road. And then... And then, because we're going to talk a little bit about emissions, with a completely different type of vehicle, which let me show you, five vehicles of the road kind. We look at cargo. Uh, we're looking at the steam flatbed truck that can haul almost everything, right? Okay. And then there's uh, the tarpaulin truck, which does haul everything. No, no plan around. Their emissions are at 77. So this guy, not much better on the emissions, but he goes to a diesel vehicle and uh, emissions of 76. And I do believe that's what we're going to be running on. Not the steel line. Uh, the pit machines. Pit machines. We are actually, no, I made a liar to myself. We're actually rolling the steam tarpaulin. Oh, I know why. Yes, I know. It's kind of what I was originally talking about. So if I go to uh, the road depot and say buy vehicles, this guy can do everything except the finished materials. See, no machines, no tools. So I'm using these for all the, the planks and the wood and the coal and the iron uh, and the steel. And then I'm using this guy 
to bring goods into the town. But emissions are a thing, so let's talk about emissions one way or another. Top left down here. Now emissions, early on I found out from like one of the missions, it's not necessarily like exhaust emissions, like when you think emissions. It's, it's noise, it's all these things, and my power just kind of flickered, so I gotta be careful with that. We got a big storm coming in, by the way, so all hope, fingers crossed, this video will make it. Um, yeah, so we gotta watch out, we're bringing this in. So one thing I'm thinking about to fix this, not necessarily fix it, we can just mitigate it, right? If I move this stop down here, I think I'm still going to maintain the uh, capturing of all the vehicles. And like this guy, I can say uh, this machine line, configure line. And let's add that as a station and delete that station. And then delete that. So it didn't do much, but let's see if that automatically changes the emissions. Not as of yet. So let's fast forward. See about when this goes away, if we see a decrease in the emissions here. Look, I can actually visibly see the emissions going away over time. It's kind of like it's blowing away with some fresh air. All these buildings are going to like it, these residential buildings probably going to be much happier outside of that emissions area. So, one way to control it is by bada boom. Look at that. He's getting even better. Where the drop off is. Another thing we can do is configure the line. Uh the we're going to go with the vehicle manager of pit machines. I know we're getting a little intense here. I'm going to select all of them. And what we're going to do is we're going to configure maintenance for the selected vehicles. And I'm going to go 50% running cost. We're going to apply that. And then we're going to click on these emissions again. And I want to see, oh my goodness, like that's happening fast. This could be a mixture. Oh, see, that car came over here and he extended it out. But now that we gave an extended uh, cost here, you can almost see the difference. Like on this line, it, it's a little hard to see. You got that dark pink. Like that that rare, not that medium rare, right? Let's think of this as like a steak. Mm. These guys are paying pretty much the same vehicle. It just, uh, we're paying a lot higher of a maintenance fee to uh, keep the emissions down and you don't have that dark pink. So, totally gets rid of dark pink by playing 50% uh, uh, maintenance. So that's good to know. If you like your little uh, steak a little bit more uh, well done, well, higher up those maintenance costs. There you have it. Oh, how are we doing? Oh my goodness, I actually expected to talk about this, jump ahead in time, and be at like 50%, but looking at the time, and I don't want to edit too much out, we're almost at that time. So we have vehicles coming in onto Portland. Nice, we have new buses, so I'm going to be doing some replacements. Uh, the Gagano. Let's see, how do we have, uh, you? The PDX Bus B. Uh, configure line. PDX Bus B, PDX Bus B. We're gonna replace all with this brand new Gagano C40. That was 100K. And the PDX Bus A, we're gonna replace all with the Post Bus ET13. That was 116K. And then we're going to go slow speed here. So this is going to be nice. We're going to see two upgrades. Here's our brand new... Right? Yeah, zero months old. A brand new bus. Oh my goodness. So here we have it. Now what I'm trying to save up for, and why we're doing a lot more just talking and showing what's going on, while this is happening, we're making money. Oh my goodness. Road rage just started. Uh, we're making money to have another line from Carrollton. I already built the track out for the most part. We're going to go out to High Point. So the train line is rolling, and this is, this is pretty aggressive. You guys don't want to watch that. Uh, but let's see if we can find a post bus. Ah, yeah, I love this little guy. It's one of my favorite vehicles in the game. It's a Dr. Seuss like thing. I don't know why. I just dig it. Cool little canopy up front. Man, with the palms. This is a beautiful, beautiful. Oh, hold on, right, right there is the, oh, I gotta hit all the time. 
Gobble, gobble, indeed. But we're trying to save up money. How are you doing? His second time back now, instead of 14, he's gotten 23 passengers. Look at the station, and it's all packed and happy. Oh my goodness. That's a happy shot right there. Oh, calm down. Oh, no. Oh, lady, we got it all on video. We got it all on video. All right, let's go. So we're going to head up. We've got some smoothing to do, but we got trains to buy. Back over the overpass. Back up this way. Mm-hmm. This town needs some help. Carrollton, I'm planning, right? I'm planning. I got the bus line already going way too far out with nobody on it. But, with all these trains, this is going to work out nice. Let's, uh, let's check this guy coming on in. And then we're going to build out one more train. Hold on tight, guys. We're gonna, we've got one more train to build. I promise you. We'll get there. We'll get it done. And we're going to keep on moving into the future. Oh. All right, not as smooth as I would hope. But as smooth as we're going to get around in here. There we go. All right, very nice. So the line's already connected here. It's going to be a nice... Uh, we we got High Point Lake over here. Let me bring back stuff so I can see what's happening. Transport Fever Nation, by the way, is the name of that train because uh, I'm not really good at banners or anything, but I used a picture of that train for our Facebook group of Transport Fever Nation, which I help admin from time to time, which is all the time. But a fun group of characters and modders and video gamers and... Yep. It's all there. We got you covered. Uh, Alright. Okay, so here we go. High point. I've already built the station because I didn't want too much growth. Which, wow. They are planning ahead. That's going to look fantastic when we age up a little bit. Get this uh, building out. I'm even planning this out already so we can flip back and head all the way that way towards the fuel. So PSL, High Point, Carrollton, out to Portland, and over to St. Petersburg. So it's going to be a nice uh, T, a nice T line going all the way up and over. So it's going to be nice, and Carrollton is going to be the hub of all this action. So calm down, or don't. All right, let's see how this track building does over the road, like up close. Now, this used to be a thing where in Transport Fever, you would want to delete the road and then build the track. But now, it brings the road to the track line. So that's a beautiful thing. So you can actually see the road flexing live. So it's happening. You know it. So that's cool. That's a good thing to see up close and personal. Get these guys connected here. Is that connected? Uh huh. Meow. New line. That's right. It happened. Uh, Carrollton. All the way over to High Point. Nice, beautiful blue line. And what are we going to do? We did the Davy Jones. We're going to go buy new vehicle. Hmm. Hmm, with that gondola. Casey Jones, I said Davy Jones. Casey Jones, down to the Davy Jones. I'm on the wrong, I'm thinking ships. All right, A35, it's got that speed, that 442, Atlantic. Mm, we don't need much power uh, or traction because we're going to go on a straight line. So let's see, this guy just came out in 1902. But have we seen the Russian Class SCH? Oh my! This guy just came out. You know what? We haven't seen it. Let's build it. And actually, I think I saw that one on a Colonel Failure video. Uh, six wheeler. Hmm. See, now we can go slower with this one because that guy can only go 75. Hmm. Let's go with bye-bye. Oh, whoops, nope, nope. Uh, sell all those, confirm. I meant add, 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 buy. 
There we go. Okay. Line one. To be named. Because sometimes I just don't feel like naming stuff, so we're not going to do it. Come on out, little friend. Come on out. Oh, my. Watch those cars go by. Looking mighty fine. Little things. I'm noticing the little little qualities of life. And boy, I'm telling you, grass makes a difference. Little thing. Little things. Glad I have everything set on high. I bet if I turned the grass off... Oh my goodness, let's do this together. Let's turn this grass off. None. Oh my goodness! What's it look like we're playing now? No, I'm not gonna go there. That's funny. Is there a grass mod for Transport Fever that I never, never noticed? But that would be definitely, if you're having issues with graphics, I'm, I'm putting everything on high. But man, because that grass just gives it the whole different feel. And what I'm surprised with is all the additions. I expected it to be the classic. Well, they changed so much, beefed up all the details, that the optimization is going to go the other direction. But it just feels, feels good. I'm ready to get into some later game, high population, uh, high population things. Yes, words. So, here we have it, folks. We've got three new... Not three new. Two new lines in Carrollton. Three lines in total. And here we go with our new Russian train. A boiling its way to high point. But on that note, I'm going to leave it on a high point. Uh, we're, we're, we're calling episode two here. With the palm trees going by saying goodbye, my friendly... Train neighbors. Oh yes, that's right. I said it. Uh, we're gonna go past this high point link. I'm gonna leave it with like a a ride along fade out with no commentary because sometimes we're just gonna do that. And I do plan once I get a bunch of videos out, a bunch, uh, to go back do a no commentary kind of ride along video, kind of relaxation. I like that kind of stuff and. Uh, I'm sure you guys like some non me chatter, Mick Chatterson as well. So, anyway. That reminds me, we gotta get a boaty McBoat face. Mm hmm. I'm taking it back. Take that, UK. I am taking back Bodie McBoat face. I have called it now. But you guys take care. I'll see you on the flip side. Have a wonderful day. Leave a comment. Peace. me think of, and I don't know if there's a thing, is designated camera positions would be fantastic with hotkeys, like by a station and things like that, because then I could just press keys and transfer between pre-designated stations. Just, you know, thoughts, things. Uh, but as we do roll into high point, uh, I am going to fade out once we get into the station, and I do appreciate you guys hanging out. Like I said before, I'm going to say it again, because I really do think so. I think I, I think I mean it. You guys really have a great day.
Take care.